Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a scary, scary, scary shark. Let's get started. For one video that Ansley and I did, we made a very friendly looking shark. For this one, we're going to make a... Angry looking shark. A scary looking shark. It's so scary. <laughs> um, so we're just going to create the shape of a shark's head. And Ansley wanted to have a little fish that was running away for its life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so let's start by making the big shape of the shark's head. I would say that the shark's head is shaped like a triangle. Would you agree? Yeah. But I'm going to start by deciding where the point and the tip of the shark's head is going to be. We want to make sure there's room for our little fish. So I'm going to start somewhere right here on the top left corner, but not all the way up. Make a little point so you know where the nose is going to go. So that's going to be the very tip of the nose. And then we're going to decide on how big this shark is going to be. I'm going to make him come all the way down to here. And then the top of his head will come about halfway down the page. So make little marks for yourself. One halfway down the page. And then one about a third of the way across. Good. And now we're just going to connect those shapes. From here to here. Okay, and the big eraser is right over there. So we'll just erase this one out. All right, so we both have the same shape now. That's the shape of our shark's head. Next, we're going to draw the scary shark mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start about right in the middle of my triangle here. Make a little point right there. You might get the same spot as mine. Okay. Pretty good. And then I'm going to make the top of the mouth right about here. So we have enough space that you have a big shark nose, but the mouth is going to make a half circle connecting. Watch me. I'm going to connect the side of the triangle and a half circle around to my point. Nom nom. <laughs> good. And then we're gonna make another curve shape, not quite a half circle, but sort of close on the bottom, like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna make the inside of the mouth come a little bit inside, and I'm gonna erase this, just so it looks like the mouth is open. So it looks like he has a bottom lip almost. So what I mean by that is we're going to make this bottom lip look like it extends. So we're going to instead change this line so it comes in a little bit. Does that make sense? And then we can erase our marks and we've got a mouth. Ah. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got a rough shark mouth shape. Now the shark almost has lips, doesn't it? So we're going to add a little lip that comes around just on the top imitating the shape of that half circle. Mm -hmm. Doesn't touch the mouth. Right. And then we'll make kind of a bottom lip as well. <laughs> Good. I'm just going to correct my bottom line a little bit. It curves in. It's not a totally straight line. So I'm going to make it more of a curved shape. But I, I like yours. I think you should leave that the way it is. Now we're going to add the nostrils on the shark. The nostrils are right here and it's kind of this weird shape. <laughs> but you can make just kind of a straight comma shape too for the nostril. Don't make it too close to where the eye goes. I would bring it up almost to the tip of the nose in here. Can you make a comma shape? Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to make another curved line matching the shape of the lips right here. So it looks like a snout. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's our shark snout. You can make a couple lines. So it looks like it's wrinkly. Good. Next, we're going to draw the eye. The eye is right above the mouth, almost touching the top of the head. And you can do a circle with like a little eyelid right here. Let Try me that. try to make, I'll make mine look angry. Mm hmm. And then. There's this shape around his eye, around his eye socket. It's just a half circle. 
and then a little line that comes down. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can color in the eye. I'm going to leave just a little highlight. Well, we're not going to call it a highlight. We're going to say that that's like the white of the eye where he's looking sideways at the fish he's chasing. Good. It's looking awesome. Now, great white sharks have white bellies. And in our reference photo, you can see this the divide between the gray and the, the white of our shark. And it comes, it touches the nose, and the white part comes all the way down around the mouth and then back. So start with the nostril and then kind of bring it next to the mouth and then all the way to the end of the paper. Yeah. Are you just dying to do the teeth? <laughs> I am too. Okay, so there's actually like these gums inside of the mouth. We have gums in our teeth too, right? The pink part that the teeth are growing out of. Well, the shark has gums too. So we're gonna draw another little line inside of the mouth where the gums are. And it's exactly the same shape as the mouth. So it's go ahead and draw the gums in. So dirty. Then out, out of the gums, the teeth grow. So we're just going to draw these jagged triangles coming out of the mouth. <laughs> the bottom shark teeth are actually a little more crazy. They're kind of crooked and curved and spike in all different directions. So you don't have to make them perfect. Just make them really pointy and sharp and crazy. In fact, in sharks, there are a couple of rows of teeth. Isn't that weird? We only have one row of teeth, don't we? And our teeth aren't that sharp. No. All right, I just drew another little curve, kind of making him look like he has a chin. <laughs> okay, is it scary looking? Pretty scary. Should we draw our scared little fish up here? Yeah. So to draw a fish, you just draw a curved line for its belly and a curved line for the top. Tipping up in the air. And then you add a tail fin, which is kind of a triangle shape, like that. Yep. And if you want to make him look really scared, you draw a big circle eye. And I'm making mine go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> really scared. <laughs> okay, do you want to outline in Sharpie next? Let's do our outline. <laughs> he looks so scared. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take ah. your Sharpie and we're just going to outline the whole shark. The inside of the mouth we can color in black. Okay, so let's get started. Just coloring in the big black inside of the mouth. Cause he's trying to eat him. Ah, I want to eat him. I'm just drawing lines up here so it looks like the water surface right above the shark's head. So once you're all finished with your outline, then we can start painting. Okay, those look so good. We've got them all drawn on and ready to paint. So I've got a couple different blue watercolors here. I've also got black, and when you mix black with water, you get gray. And so we're gonna paint the gray on our shark first. Ready to start? Okay, so grab some gray paint, and you can start painting your shark. If you have too much water, dab it on your paper towel. Now don't paint the white belly of the shark yet. 
right? Okay. You're doing a good job. Just start with the nose and then the top half of the shark. Oops, too much black. Here, I'll help you. I'll just lift some of that out with my brush. Thanks. And if you have too much paint, just dab it on your paper towel. In our photo, we have uh, the belly of the shark underneath the teeth. It's very dark because it's in the shadow. So you can paint that a mixture of black and blue or just black if you want. I want a darker blue. So to do that, you just take your blue and mix it in with the black. I'm going to add a little bit of this blue. The belly's kind of blue and a little bit whitish. Mm -hmm. Good so observing. The belly's kind of in the water. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is in the water. And we really don't have to let it dry before we paint the water. We can go ahead and paint the water right away. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this light blue and that dark blue. Sure. This is a little dark. And I'm just painting kind of sideways to match the way the water looks when you're coming up to the surface. You want it to kind of look like bubbles above him where the fish is quickly splashing away. So you can just kind of go with your brush. <laughs> it's a real technical description. <laughs> oh, help me, help me. I need to get away from this shark. And I'm watering down my paint quite a lot more up here because bubbles look white, don't they? So you can water it down quite a bit. And then I'm just painting around the shark. Just painting quickly, all blue water. Do you want to use my bigger brush for the big stretches of water? I'll switch with you. Mine looks scarier. That's awesome. Good job. <laughs> Scary shark. We hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. See you next time.